really feeling it now. We just sort of chilled out this afternoon. Um, I didn't even drink the second beer, so can't be blaming that. We did a bit of tidying, um, just packed a few things away, and, and after, I didn't have that much to pack away to be fair, so while Shay was sorting out his room, I lay on the bed, and my, my eyes just were like anchors, just pulling my eyelids down, I was like going, I've set my alarm for 4 and 4.15, because we've got a call time of 5, and then we're going to a place called Malolos in Bulacan. Anyway, that's another story. Uh, but yeah, we're just hanging on to threads of life right now. We've got the Martin Rivera concert tonight, so we're going to just have a little freshen up and head out to, I think it's the Solaire, so that'll be nice. I don't think I've been there before. I think I'm going to need my energy drink just to keep me going. Let's hope this is enough to keep me going for the rest of the <laughs> rest of the evening. We're about to make our way to uh, Martin Rivera's 40th year anniversary. Yeah. But this is an opportunity that could lead to other opportunities. This is how I look at these things, especially in the Philippines, anything can happen. That's true. I mean, look at where we are now. I just can't believe, yeah, that we've, we've got production, well, production passes. Exactly, and that's never happened to us. But now that it's happened once, maybe it can keep happening again. Yeah, I think the best part about it is we didn't ask for this. No, we didn't. <laughs> they just offered it to us. Like, okay. How can we say no? We are running late. We're running on for the yeah, piano time. Go, go, Let's go, get the go. hell out of here. As usual in Manila, traffic was pretty heavy, especially around rush hour. We eventually arrived at the Salaire with no idea where to go, who to meet, and already 30 minutes late. So we're going to pot a little bit here. We arrived at our destination clearly, and we're just waiting to. We haven't actually got any physical tickets, so it's like, well, how do we find out where we need to go? And um, we're really struggling to find people. But we have a savior. We've got John, who's one of an artist. That, I don't know if he's performing tonight, but John is an artist that is there. He's coming to get us, um, save our lives. So John came to our rescue, and look at what we got, guys. We have access all areas. And wasn't we in for a treat? Side stage access to Martin Navera's concert where we stood with the production team. When do you ever get this experience? You never do. Seeing the Concert King do what he does best was incredible, a master of his craft. But he wasn't alone. Ogi Alcacid, Darren Espanto, Jed Medella, to name just a few of the vocalists sharing the stage with Martin. And of course, one of my favourite Filipina artists. Pugin is right there, and I'm, I don't know if she's going to go on stage or whether if she's not. Should I go and talk to her? I decided against talking to her, in part because I'm wearing a mask and she wouldn't be expecting me, so it would be a bit weird. But also, we were invited to enjoy a concert and not be a nuisance. And we would like to be invited to events like this again. That said, we did get the opportunity to meet Casey Tandingan before she was due to appear on stage. More on that later. Performing next, oh yes, you guessed it, Asia Songbird.
debate talking to KZ, which we did not log for privacy reasons. KZ, I know. So we've just finished watching Martin Rivera's concert with special guests. Um, amazing, amazing concert and artists that I didn't even know were going to be here were here. KZ was a, such a surprise and she gave us, unfortunately we weren't really able to film with KZ, um, but we got to meet her backstage and spend about 10, 15 minutes just chatting with her. It was lovely to catch up with her. But we do have this photo. How was your night? It was good man, I was really enjoying that. It was great. It was good. See I feel what? like as soon as I get into that that grab, I'm gonna just absolutely crash. Me too. Burn. I'm I'm actually starting to really feel it now. Yeah. yeah, I'm hungry as well. We should get some food. I have no regrets. Like obviously we're tired. We might feel it tomorrow, but mm. this was worth it. Connections, the connections that you make is all part of it. Yeah. It's the part that I love the most about doing this. So our contact Frank, who basically ran this whole production, he introduced us to some other people who were like, was it VP of the whole event or something? So really important people. Um, he's gonna try and get us, get this guy. This is it. Oh. This is what I was talking about. On the 23rd is the Awit Awards, and he's gonna try and get us some backstage access to that as well. I love being sort of side stage and just watching the concert and being not part of production, but kind of seeing it come together. See, just and just seeing it from that perspective is, mm. is different for me. Yeah. That's why I was like, now we don't need to go sit in, in the crowd. We, we do that very often. Yeah. We don't do this very often, no. so. So, on that note, we're gonna push through the M4D. Getting a grab proved to be a lot harder than expected, and by the time we got back to the condo, we had around three and a half hours before we had to get up. <laughs> <laughs> 